this week we're working back on the Vauxhall core so you can see it just in the background what we're going to be doing is fitting some extra cigarette lighter sockets so we can power a dash cam so I'll show you where I'm going to fit it what I've bought and how to do it should be fairly straightforward and it's a really useful add-on So the aim is to solve this problem down here, which is where we've got a couple of USB powered devices. So there's a dash cam on there and a reverse camera. And as you can see, it's all a bit rattly. It's not very neat. Now, the preferred solution is you put the adapter into the glove box and you wire it all in behind there. And it means you can hide the wiring a little bit better. So the first thing is we take the glove box off. And that's fairly straightforward apart from all the rubbish that's in it uh, there's just a few hex screws either side to undo And there's two at the bottom as well. The idea here is taking a look at the fuse box that we've got in here, looking for a feed that will operate when the ignition is on. So using a multimeter. I can test this out. All I do is attach one probe to a piece of metal work, so that's grounding it, and then I can touch the small metal pins on the inside of the fuses and see which ones of these are live. So you can see the first one that I'm doing at the bottom here, I'm not getting any voltage reading at all. I'll just show you the meter. And then when the ignition is on, that gives us 12 volts, which is exactly what we need. So the bottom right fuse is the one that we're going to use for this. Here's what I was looking for. So this is a piggyback fuse adapter. What you can do is take the original fuse out, plug this in, and you can see there's two fuse holders here. And what it does is it allows you to put a connector on and tap into it and that's what we're going to use to tap into that fuse and it means we don't need to do any damage to the existing wiring of the car by using it. So what I'm going to do is use the fuse adapter and then you see I've got a 12 volt socket that just has wires, it does have an inline fuse as well so we've got two fuses. And all I'm going to do is one of these are going to go to ground so I'll find a grounding point, probably that one there, if it'll fit, and the other end I'm going to join onto this wire here, which will give our positive connection, and then we can feed that into the glove box. So what I'm going to do is, there's a metal bracket here, and I think this one will work quite nicely. So I'm going to undo the metal bracket, and then I'm going to put on the ground connector and sandwich that inside, and that should give us a nice ground feed to use. Any metal connector will do. Hopefully this is going to give me a good enough ground feed. And now what I'm going to do is take the fuse out, if I can. Might need to use pliers on that to get it out. So that's that fuse out, so I'm going to now put that 
into the piggyback connector and then I'm going to feed the piggy piggyback connector into place. There's not an awful lot of room for it. But there we go. That should connect in now. There we go, that's our ground connection. And you can see the piggyback fuse just fits. You might need to get a narrow one, narrow one. I had to cut a little bit of the plastic off to make it fit in there. But now what we've got is we've got a 12 volt power supply that comes on with the ignition. So we can now feed this through into the glove box and put the glove box back on. When you put the glove box back on, the rubber seal at the side here has to be put in place. So you just feed it over the top like that. We can push the glove box in place and then we'll get the screws back in. At this point something went wrong with the microphone so I'll explain. You can see I've put through the cigarette socket and also two USB leads which power that uh, charger and also the dash cam there so I can feed those through. And then what I've bought is I've bought an adapter that plugs into that and gives me three additional sockets and also there's some USB chargers built into it as well you can see on the end there there's four usb sockets and an on off switch as well so you can use that in the glove box to power those up and then there's also additional sockets if you need them and you can see there's a switch there for each of the sockets as well you can switch each one on and off independently so let's plug this in uh, difficult to do one-handed. There we go, it's plugged in. And if we turn the ignition on, it should power on and light up. It's also got a little voltmeter on it as well to show the, the voltage as well, which is quite handy. There you can see it's come on now and it's showing, well it's upside down, but 12.3, 12.4 volts. So it's all working great. Just what we want. That's a fairly simple job on the Vauxhall Corsa, but it's a nice little add-on we've now got in the glove box. It means we've got those chargers. We've got a couple of USB power that we can do things like the dash cam, reverse sensors, and also fixing in a nice mobile phone mount. And that's about it for this time. Very simple one for you this week, but uh, quite useful in the same way. Hope this is useful to you if you've got a Vauxhall Corsa, or to be honest, a lot of Vauxhalls have got very similar dashboards and fuse boxes inside there, so it should do the job for you. If you've liked the video, please pop a like down below, and I'll see you in the next video.